Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanOfTheDot.com and in this video we are going to do a detailed gaming performance test on our HTC One M9 Plus smartphone. We will play a few of the high-end games and we will see how good our device is going to perform with uh, those games when we are playing them. And uh, the games we got today here are Asphalted Airborne. Temple Run 2, Ninja Revenge, Modern Combat 3, and The Amazing Spider-Man. So let's start with the Asphalted Airborne, which is one of the most popular and high-end racing game. So here we go. So you can see that the sound quality is really great of our HTC One M9 Plus. If we go to the settings, you can see that the visual quality is high for this device so we will get the better idea that how good this device is performing whether there is any lagging or any frame drops while playing a spotted airborne on high graphics quality so here we go the volume is at full So you can see that the graphics quality is really very nice. The details are so good on a spotted airborne. The sound is so loud, so clear, there is no frame drop of any kind. And the sensors they are performing really nice as well. Everything is so smooth, so nice. So here I wrecked my car and uh, you should be getting the idea that the gaming performance of HTC One M9 Plus will be pretty good. But let's play some uh, other games and let's see that how good our HTC One M9 Plus is going to perform by playing all those games. So here we go. And uh, let's play Temple Run 2 and uh, let's see that how good our device is going to perform. Here I am feeling a bit hot after playing the asphalted airborne. This portion of the device on the back panel is a bit hot. And here we go with the Temple Run 2. So you can see that our device is performing really nice for playing games like Temple Run 2 or Subway Surfers. Uh, the responsiveness of the touch screen and the sensors are very important and you can see that while playing this game the, the touch screen sensitivity is really nice and the sensors they are performing really good as well.
my bad but uh, you should be getting the idea that HTC One M9 Plus is performing really very nice and uh, let's go back to his fault eight. okay so uh, why I went back to his fault eight and what I'm trying to show you here is that when I was playing this fault eight airborne I left the game in the middle and start playing the Temple Run 2 and even I didn't close the Temple Run 2 properly and came back to a spotted airborne and you can see that the game is exactly where I have left it so that means that the 3 GB RAM of this device is performing really very nice so if you are a multitasker uh, who likes to play game and leave the game in the middle and go for some texting and all and come back and uh, would love to play the game from where you have left it then this device is going to be a good one for you because you can see that I was playing a high-end game I left it in the middle and when I'm coming back it's exactly where I have left it so you do not need to worry about the force close or any kind of issues that your game is closed when you have left it and move to perform some another task so the RAM is really very nice performing on our HTC One M9 Plus here. So now let's go and play some other games. What else we got here are Spider-Man. Let's play Spider-Man here. It is a 3D game so we will come to see that how good HTC One M9 Plus is performing while playing the 3D games if you're having 3D graphics so there we go with our amazing Spider-Man The good thing about the placement of the speakers on our HTC One M9 Plus is that it's not behind and it's not on the side. So the sound quality is really very good while playing the game. And here is our The Amazing Spider-Man. So you can see that the graphics quality is really very nice but now let's play the game itself and let's see how good the gaming is going to be So you can see that the graphics quality is so nice. Let's have a look at how good and smooth HTC One M9 Plus is performing. You can see that here is the 3D graphics and it's so smooth. I'm moving my finger so fast and it's changing so fast as well in every single direction. As you can see. So the 3D graphics rendering on our HTC One M9 Plus is really very nice and it's so smooth. After all this superheroing, I think I could use a vacation. Yo. So let's go back and play what we got here is the Ninja Revenge. Let's play it. It is a 2D game, but it is also having good HD quality so it will also give us the idea about the graphics quality and how good 
our SCT1 M9 Plus perform. So here we go with the Ninja Revenge. So, once again the graphics quality and the gaming performance is pretty good. Let's play the Ninja Revenge once again. So the overall gaming performance of HTC One M9 Plus is pretty good whether it's the graphics quality, the sound quality or the responsiveness of the sensors and the touch screen everything is so nice on our HTC One M9 Plus and the only problem I am facing so far is that uh, the back panel here especially in this uh, lower portion of the back panel it's getting a bit hot while playing the uh, high-end games here but this is one of the most common issue with most of the high-end smartphone especially the one which uh, comes with the uh, metal uh, body so but the, the gaming performance of the device is really very nice uh, you have seen us playing the spotted airborne the amazing spider-man Temple Run 2 and the Ninja Revenge and the performance of this device was great for all of these games in terms of everything other than the hitting issue but hitting issue is not much uh, still and it's uh, quite okay quite reasonable considering uh, the quality of the screen and the metal body of HTC One M9 Plus so thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks, and handsome reviews like this, have a nice day.